we have five species of sea turtles here in Florida and they nest on different beaches around Florida. The most common one is a loggerhead. It's listed as threatened um, because it has issues with nesting and also foraging around coastal waters. Um, next we have the green turtle. It's also fairly common but it's also listed as threatened. Uh, we have a leatherback, a very large turtle. It's listed as endangered. Fairly rare to see but when you see them boy, you really see them, they're big. Um, and we have the Kemp's Ridley. Uh, it's also another turtle that's listed as, a uh, sea turtle listed as endangered. And we also have, finally, the hawksbill. And the hawksbill is another sea turtle that's listed as endangered. Some of the turtles eat grasses, some of the uh, turtles eat crustaceans, crabs, you know, even sponges, etc. So the habitat around Florida is important for foraging and for nesting it's critical because they can't lay them in the water. They got to come up and uh, nest on land. And the nesting season here in Florida is approximately May to October. And you think of May, the, the female turtles are dragging themselves out of the water. You know, uh, they reproduce around 20, 25 years old and uh, they're looking for a place to lay their eggs. And the only place they nest is on land and typically they come back to where they were born or near where they were born. During the nesting season, um, definitely do not have lights that shine into, um, um, onto the beach or into the ocean because um, it disorients the baby turtles and they can't find the water. And uh, nesting sea turtles, when they come out of the ocean, they don't like to nest in bright lit areas. So anything you can do to reduce the amount of light that shines onto the ocean particularly between May and October. For more information on sea visit Solutions for Your Life.